Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, Clockwork Empires. This is build 31A. And let's see, I had a another fish guy attack. Oh, awesome, right in the stockpile again. See, guys, I'm putting food right in your stockpile. All you gotta do is chop it up and eat it. So, uh, what we've done here is, uh, first off, our military crews have absolutely no assignments. They're just walking around being military guys. Uh, we took our first, excuse me, we took our first uh, request for supplies to be guns. That's why we've got some guns here. Uh, and in our second request, uh, we went for food because if you'll take a look, even though we've got guys working, we're going for a specialist this time. One specialist, please. Let's see what they gave us. Um, all right. Let's give him an extra person here. Or two, actually. Uh oh, where'd my military guy go? Oh no, did they make me just pull my military person? Okay, um, just out of curiosity. Okay. No, I was going to say, why? But that's cool that I could do that. That I could move it. I uh, By mistake, I had moved my military person out when I didn't mean to. and then But they automatically put the uniform back on when I moved them back. And why are they tending crops? They shouldn't be doing anything. Well, whatever. Uh, and then the uh, the regular person I moved up here was a... Uh, conscription so that's that's fine so I like I like that anyway we uh, in our last episode uh, and we should probably track him we had one young fellow thought it was a, a good idea to eat an entire bushel of hot peppers and I wanted to see how he was gonna fare over the next couple days if he had to run off to the jungle to uh, relieve himself in a most painful manner <laughs> all right enough foolishness foolishness I say let's clear some terrain here uh, let's take a look like if we're building anything yeah I don't even know why I'm clearing this area goodness there's there's nothing I'm gonna be able to do with this plot of land is there uh, I may as well start thinking about clearing over here instead can I un can't can I clear my job well uh, you know it's not gonna hurt him to clear it and there's only a few there and he's already busy at it so I say the heck with it let him let him do his thing right all right we've got some beds so we're gonna see who moves in here and if they'll use uh, the big beds and the small beds at the same time and it's currently unclaimed that's fine let's check our uh, food supply stocks okay we've got a plant uh, uh, spoiled crops <sighs> dude I don't know what else to do for the crops I mean yeah I guess I could make a crew always tending but I'll be honest they pretty much are man I mean maybe it's just a few uh, Maybe it's just a few of the spoiled ones. I mean, we've only got three farms. It's not like they should be overwhelmed with three, I wouldn't think. We've got a lot of people. We've got a lot of, you know, a lot that we're doing, but still. Oh, how's my, uh... Oh, uh, by the way, this is our, if you missed the last episode, this is our carpentry shop. It's there. Uh, not that you can see it. Uh, it's invisible. Uh, we didn't intend on making it that way. Uh, we had like a stump or something underneath that we cleared. No, it wasn't a stump. What was it? Just grass. Yeah, we cleared some grass and then uh, built it. I, we don't know if that was the uh, the problem with the uh, with that. Um, you know what? We're getting some fishmen laying around and now they're gonna attack nice 
I was going to say build a graveyard. Um, I might do it anyway. Uh, let's see, where's a good place to put a graveyard? Ah, I'll put it over here. We'll do that. I did build a graveyard, not a farm, right? Okay. Well, we got fishmen all over the place, don't we? Um, let's see. Does it seem under control? Or should we start recruiting some of our people into uh, conscription? Uh, let's let's take a look who we could uh, who we could do. I don't want to mess with my crops people or my kitchen folk. All right, we're going to uh, conscript this unit. How's that? I don't know how quick it's going to work for them. Well, they ran. It's okay. See, there's this one picking up a gun. It's just a few extra military. We can take them off of subscript, not subscription. We can take them off of conscription. Uh, after this uh, fight is done, which it looks like, looks like it is. And you know what? I don't think we lost anybody in the attack. That's why that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, got one more. Got another one over here, too. He seems all quite, quite agitated and worked up. Okay, he's dead. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go and take those ones back off of the uh, conscription services. We'll retire the unit, let them tend crops. They get agitated and irritated, uh, being chased by fishmen. I was gonna say being, you know, drafted for very long. Come on, man. Oh man. All right, I guess I spoke too soon, but let's uh Oh, I do have some more over here, don't I? This guy just can't cannot catch a break, can he? He just keeps getting uh, chased. Come on. Save him. Save the day. Woo. That was close for that guy, I bet. I can't... I can't see how... Uh, how much health he has. But uh, I'll bet you... I'll bet you he's pretty low. He got hit quite a few times. I'll teach you for being a naturalist. All right, uh, so we lost one of our military. Let's uh, let's take a look. I'm hoping it wasn't. Uh, oh, okay. At least it wasn't one of the crew foreman kind of things. But we're down to uh, three military, so we'll definitely need to uh, watch out for the uh, the next fish attack. Make sure we uh, draft in some uh, people. Uh, for that services when it uh, when we need it life in the jungle people lots of oh all right supply drops let's definitely take food and then uh, we're gonna do the three of anything uh, since we get that specialist last time let's see what we got military yay got one military two military all right well, if you're going to be military, uh, uh, can I, I don't suppose I can, hey, hey, I didn't mean to pick that up. Alright, I'll tell you what though, we'll, uh, we'll still turn off everything but their military duty, duty, <laughs> you can tell what kind of mood I'm in today, right? 
Come on. You, right there with the gun. Put it to use. There you go. Uh, okay. One shot, walk away. No. He's not dead. What about you? Yeah, you're sad. Shoot the fish guy. There you go, at least stab him. Now what's he running from? May have been a lingering effect. Hey, hey you got somebody who was using the bed. Alright, so what do we got? Do we got this claim now? Unclaimed. Alright. Still have a graveyard no one's using. We seem to have a lot of food. I mean, if you look. Let's look at our commodities. I mean, we've got 10 bushels of chilies. Uh, we've got one of the white fungus already uh, good to go. Uh, eight corn. I don't know. It just looks a lot more in the stockpile, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have a... Okay, we've got a fish guy down here, but... We seem to have a lot of uh, foraging supplies, so let's uh, let's do some for. Oh yeah, there you go. That's foraging. Foraging like a boss. Just kill the fish people. Come on, somebody. Why the heck are all my military in hitting on the ladies? You give them nothing to do, and what do they do? Sit around, drinking coffee, eating donuts, hitting on the ladies. Come on, man. This guy is tearing up our farm. Oh, crops have uh, hit points now. Uh, so they don't instantly go. See how before it was one hit and they'd be gone, so that's two. That yeah, was a, you know, it's one, two. Well, at least they take two hits now. There we go. Fine. Come on, man. Hey, you just gonna let them tear up all the crops, are you? Wow, let's play the game. How long does it take? You, there will eventually be fish killing, yes? Well, alright. Got there in the end. Somebody tend the crops, for goodness sakes. How about everybody tend the crops? <laughs> We're forage. We have some foraging to do. Alright, let's check our planks queue. Uh, I'm going to cancel the, the queue. Uh, I'm probably out of uh, wood at the moment anyway. And I don't have a lot of things in it. I mean, you know, the bookshelves and the the cupboards there. But you know, whatever they can uh, they can go or not go as needed. Uh, just yet, higher priorities at the moment, like being fed, food. Hey, you got building, got food. It's pretty much all you need to start with. Little shelter, a little food, warmth. All right, I'll give you warmth. But, yeah. Now, I wonder if I should send my military down here where we're going to do all this uh, foraging. Although, mm, you know what? It doesn't seem to be all that. On the spot up there as it is it, either, so. Uh, plus, I'm not seeing any fish guys walking, so we should be. Should be relatively good here. I'm seeing some of the uh, the game as we uh, start to spread out a little bit. Uh, remember they uh, they changed the uh, the code in 31A that the animals no longer congregate around the uh, the village. Uh, it's the opposite now, which I made awfully nice for hunting. It's like, oh well, we've got the you know 52 beetles in the area. May as well kill them they were all underfoot <laughs> it was awesome all right I think uh, we've got to hold up here yeah see it's just the uh, the pipes but we got three 
uh, going, and that's good. Let's check our uh, our stocks. Uh, all right, the orange fungus. Let's definitely queue up more white fungus because I know I got a lot of that. Uh, let's see, what else would we need to make? Coconuts and peppers, may as well. Because I think we got both of those. And the chowder, we're still cranking out the chowder. They're Bostonites, they've got their chowder. Corn chowder is pretty good. Mm, let's see. Do I worry about the stumps? I say no. I say no to that. Forage coconuts. Okay. I'll do it just because it's right there. Same thing here. I think I'll uh, try and forage those two. Three. Like I said, you got to give it for the jungle. We at least have... Oh, no. Not again. Hang on. <clears throat> Fish attack. Uh, let's, uh... Tending crops. Well, a lot of good that's going to do. It's not that I want to take them off of that. It's just, uh... Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying. Tending crops foraging boy who do I uh, who do I conscript again uh, let's take one of the foraging crews I guess yeah yeah let's do that hopefully they'll come out and get some guns oh by the way these uh this is the, the sugar sugar king in case you were wondering all right, let's see if we can see where the uh, fishmen are coming from. I thought maybe we served them from there, but I don't see it. In the jungle, they can really, they can come from anywhere. Oh, dude, what's this? Ominous shrine. Does not match any known piece of architecture in the Marine of Colonial Architects Blueprint Collecting. Ooh, here, I gotta get a better look at that again. Ooh, that looks, looks ominous. <laughs> what have my little people been up to? Oh, all right. Got fish guys everywhere. Sorry. Here I am looking at the shrines. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Hang on. I paused because somebody here is talking about the shrine. Did you see that? She saw someone engaged in an occult ritual recently and was horrified. Well, good for you. And he was just happy that he slept in a bed recently. <laughs> hey, I saw a cultist activity. Yeah, I slept in a bed. <laughs> Just separate worlds. <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye on this shrine, though. I want to see who's, who goes off that direction. Oh, we can ask more people. Uh, skilled or anyone. I'm saying anyone, maybe. Oh, that may have been a mistake, but we'll find out. Uh, Alright, who we got? Metal worker? Okay, I don't have to worry too much about that skill. Farmer? Alright, so if I have a crew that does nothing but tend crops... Uh, I guess they keep that skill, is uh, my understanding. Uh, I could be wrong, though. Let's uh, let's take our my conscription off of the first one. I'm going to leave this larger group on, though. Uh, I'm also going to leave uh, the one farmer all by himself for a moment till things dial, dial down on the action scale here. I was going to say die down. You know I was going to say that. But I don't want to see it with people dying. Nobody's died yet, but still. Anybody over here? No. All right, we'll watch for them. Little buggers. Try and bring more mayhem than I already have into my uh, my colony. Mm. 
I'm so excited to see somebody go over there. Come on, go. It's night time. Perfect time. No, they'll have to walk over there, right? I mean, they won't just, like, appear there. Do I have to keep an eye on it, or... I don't know. We'll see. You know I keep going back to it, right? Let's see if there's any others. Oh, fish guy. Aw. But he went to the shrine last night. Oh, there's another one. Holy crud, they're popping up everywhere. When did this one come up? Now, is there anything I can do about the shrines? I, I can't. Yeah, I can clear the terrain around it, but. Oh, man. I want to see if anything happens yet in the game. I don't know if it does, if they just build the shrines, but uh, nothing, uh, you know, nothing actually happens yet. Uh, oh my gosh, guns or food. I do have a lot of, uh, a lot of food it looks like. Uh, not so many guns. Building materials? I could maybe use building materials. I think I'm going to take the guns this round, though. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, fish attacks. So, I think it might be more prudent to have the uh, the guns and ammo around. I don't, I don't quite know what my stock levels are on those. Uh, so, I've got seven pistols, five of the muskets, and uh, three crates of ammo now. All right. Good enough. All right. Uh, I tell you what. I'm going to need to uh, probably wrap this episode also here in just a minute. Hey, look. Died right in the graveyard. He's even dancing for it. Is he running? No. Okay. Looked like he was running and I was concerned a fish guy got all the way into the kitchen. Alright, well like I said, I uh, I gotta put another uh, uh, 